So you get a phone call from your client and they're interested in seeing a preview of the animation that you've just rendered. Well, the issue that you have right now is that you just spend time rendering a sequence of PNGs and there's no way your client's going to be able to watch an animation using a sequence of PNG files that you rendered out. So what do we do next? We can use a tool called the RAM player that's available inside of 3ds Max. If you're continuing from the previous lesson, go ahead and close the render setup dialog. Click on the rendering menu from the main menu and go all the way down to the bottom of the drop down menu and choose the RAM player option. RAM player is basically a file viewer. It consists of two channels, channel A and channel B. All we're going to be concerned with right now is channel A. Let's open channel A by clicking the open button and navigating to the chapter six directory in the render output folder or where you've just rendered your PNG files. Here we have a series of PNG files beginning with facade entry 0000.png and going through 100. Now, this is a series of PNGs and not something that we want to send to the client. What we can do is we can open the sequence by highlighting the first PNG file, the 0000 file. A very important step if you want to preview an animated sequence in the RAM player is to make sure the sequence option is checked. This option is located in the lower left corner of the open file dialog. If it's not checked, click on the checkbox. This will open the entire sequence of images in the RAM player in order to play them back as a continuous animation. Click the open button. The next dialog that opens will allow us to specify the location of the IFL file which is a text file that contains the sequence of frames that is going to be loaded into the RAM player. It allows you to specify the start frame and the ending frame, as well as some other frame loading options. Click OK. Then the RAM player configuration dialog will open. This allows you to specify the width and height of the image that you're going to import into the RAM player, as well as how much memory you allocate. There's also an option for loading the alpha channel and choosing the number of frames that get played back. Click OK. The RAM player now loads all 101 frames into memory. We can now click the play button and play back the animation. However, we can see the animation playing, but we can't send the RAM player to the client. We want to send out a usable format so our client can view this portion of the animation. Stop the animation. We're going to click the Save Channel A button. We should be taken to the folder that contains the image sequence that we just opened up. We're going to save out an AVI file. In the file name, type in Facade Entry. In the Save As dropdown, select the AVI output format. Click the Save button. You'll be presented with the AVI Compression Setup dialog. This is where you need to understand a little bit about what codecs are. 